What if you could be an animal just for one day? What would you want to be? A graceful tigress, a fearless wolf. Hmm. How about a strong grizzly bear? This Disney classic is about a transformation of a human into a bear. It has a wonderful storyline, important life lessons, lots of humor and lovable characters, as we will see in today's scene from the movie. The main character, Kinai, speaks with the voice of Joaquin Phoenix, a Hollywood star who played the Joker and Bonaparte himself in the recent 2023 Napoleon movie. All good literature movies are about transformation. Um, in the case of Brother Bear, a transformation is affected by walking in another's shoes. What a wonderful lesson that is. By the way, the idiom to walk in another person's shoes means looking at things from another person's perspective, understanding their life and way of thinking, and developing empathy as a result. So let's wait no longer and start today's lesson. Before we begin, if you are new here, let me quickly tell you how this lesson will work. First, you will watch the scene with subtitles, then you'll learn some of the most important vocabulary, grammar and pronunciation, and after that you'll test your comprehension by watching the clip once again without subtitles and answer a few quiz questions. Every week we put out lessons just like this one to help you understand your favorite movies and TV series without getting lost, without missing the jokes and without subtitles. And it would be so nice if you could now hit that subscribe button and never miss any of our newest lessons. Ooh, that's quite a bump you've got there. That must have been one heck of a ride down those rapids, huh? Tanana? Nana, you won't believe this. I was at the top of this huge rock, and all of a sudden, this. Keen eye, I don't speak bear. No. No, no, no. We just saw how Tanana, the shaman woman in Kinai's tribe, encounters the boy as a bear. It's hard for Kinai to accept the bitter truth, and we see him looking aghast. To be aghast is to be struck with overwhelming shock or surprise. That's exactly what Kinai feels now. Ooh, that's quite a bump you've got there. A bump in this context means a swelling under the skin caused by hitting or bumping into something. Tanana used the word quite here to emphasize that the bump was quite impressive, a big one. You can hear it's used with the same meaning as an emphasizer in such collocations as quite a view, quite a story. Just look at this example from Finding Dory. It really is quite a view. Yep. Unforgettable. That must have been one heck of a ride down those rapids, huh? Let's break down the connected speech here. The word have is reduced to a schwa sound of, and it links the words must and been together. Must have been. A heck of a ride is another way to say quite a ride or an impressive ride. We use the phrase a heck of to emphasize how big or surprisingly good something is or how much of it there is. Please don't confuse it with the phrase what the heck, as it is used for showing anger or annoyance and more of an unpleasant surprise. Check out these two clips to see the difference. That spider did a heck of a job. She's a hard worker. Kinda did. You hit me on the butt. What the heck is wrong with you? Uh, I, oh, uh, why'd you bite me? That must have been one heck of a ride down those rapids, huh? Rapids are a dangerous part of a river that flows very fast usually over rocks. By the way, can you name the word with the same root that means quickly? Rapidly means very quickly and in a short amount of time. For example, technology is rapidly changing. I was at the top of this huge rock and all of a sudden this... <laughs> when something happens quickly and unexpectedly, it happens all of a sudden. 
Notice the connected speech here. Of is reduced to of and is linked to another schwa sound. So we hear Oliver. The best way to remember new words is to use them right away and repeat them during a couple of weeks. You can do it on our Real Life app. After you watch this lesson, go to the Real Life app to practice all the new words from the clip with the flashcards we created based on this lesson. And remember, on the app you can always discuss new lessons with another English learner. All you need is to click on the speak button. Within a few seconds you will get connected to a person from a different country and you could have a real English conversation with them. It's that simple. If you don't have Real Life English app yet on your smartphone, go grab the link in the description to this video or search for Real Life English in the Apple app or Google Play Store. Ah! Ow! Now, here in the next scene, Kinai gets himself trapped in a tree and that's when he first meets Koda, an orphaned bear cub in search of help. But now it's actually Kinai who needs a bit of help from this little cub, even if he denies it. What? You need to get down. Let me help. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Ow! Hold still. No, just ow, stop that. Ow. Oh, if you just oh, get get uh, hey, stop it! Oh. It's no use. The only way to get down is to chew your own foot off. I don't need some stupid bear's help. I just need the stick. Okay, here. No, no, no. I'll do it myself. Put it back. No, where you found it? Oh. T to the left, by the, by the little rock. Here. Yes. Okay. Boy, that tree is strong, huh? You know, when I was little, I was really into climbing trees. All kinds of trees. I climbed pine trees, oak trees, cedar trees, maple trees, uh, birch trees, willow trees, birds. What? You need to get down. Let me help. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Uh, Ow! Hold still. No. If you want to ask somebody to stop moving completely, you can tell them, hold still. It's a common phrase to say when you treat some light injury and want to do it very carefully. Oh, don't do that. Just hold still. That hurts! If you'd hold still, it wouldn't hurt as much. It's no use. The only way to get down is to chew your own foot off. If you tried something several times and it doesn't work, or doesn't bring the expected result, you may say it's no use or it's no use trying. In other words, there is no point in doing something. It's hopeless. Oh, it's no use. She's so beautiful and I'm... Well, look at me! It's no use. The only way to get down is to chew your own foot off. When we eat food, we chew or work with our jaws. To chew off is to bite something off by chewing. In this context, Koda says Kinai can escape the trap only by chewing off his leg. Of course, he's exaggerating. Okay, here. No, 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 I'll do it myself. Put it back. No, where you found it? Oh. T to the left, by the, by the little rock. You can tell where is right or left. Now, what may be confusing is which preposition to use. Is it to the right or on the right? To indicate a location, a precise place, use the preposition on. The bathroom is upstairs on the left. To express a movement, use the preposition to. He turned his hat to the left, to the source of the noise. To indicate a direction, no preposition is necessary. Turn right after the crossroads, then go left and straight on. Wrong, huh? You know, when I was little, I was really into climbing trees. There is a difference between the words little and small. The bear cub is small when compared to the size of a big bear, but in the scene he describes himself as little, meaning his age. This is a common mistake our students make. So, don't say when I was small, say when I was little. Remember, small, when talking about people, is referred to the size, not the age. Here's a nice example from the Frozen where the sisters ask their mom to tell them her story. When I was little, 
My mother would sing a song about a special river called Atahalan. When you ascend a mountain, you climb it. So to climb means to move upward, especially with difficulty or effort, using your hands as well as your feet. Excuse me, I climbed the North Mountain, survived a frozen heart, and saved you from my ex-boyfriend, and I did it all without powers, so... Now, are you into learning languages? To be into something is to like doing something. It can be followed by the ing verb, I'm not into cooking, or by a noun, I'm into languages and not into sports. What are you into was one of the questions I heard in my first job interview, and I was taken aback. I was totally unprepared as I didn't expect my future boss would want to hear about the things I love doing outside of my job. And what are you into? Write us in the comments! And these examples from the movie Strange World will help you practice this question more. Well, tell me about yourself, Ethan. What are you into? Fighting? Hunting? Maybe sometimes or on occasion. So, Diazo? Tell me about yourself. Nah, that's not really necessary. Are you into farming? Because Ethan is an amazing farmer. You should see him out there. All kinds of trees. I climb pine trees, oak trees, cedar trees, maple trees, uh, birch trees, willow trees. There are so many names of trees Coda mentions here. These are common trees in the Pacific Northwest of the American continent, where the movie is set. And I'm sure you've heard a couple of them. Like maple, which is a symbol of Canada and maple syrup comes to mind, right? Oak was named the national tree of the United States. We know pine is a Christmas tree. There is a classic British novel, The Wind in the Willows. <laughs> See, it's all about uh, using your head. Uh, oh! Uh, oh! That was funny. Do it again. Don't you have some place to go? Yeah, the salmon run. Hmm. How about this? I get you down, then we go together. Deal? Yeah, okay, fine. If you can magically get me down, I'll go with you to this... this Salmon run. Whatever. But if you can't, you turn around, walk away, and never come back. Ever. You swear? Yeah. Pinky swear. Yeah, sure, fine, pinky swear, but this is a human trap, and you're just a dumb little bear, so there's really no way you're gonna be able to... Ooh, that was funny, do it again! Don't you have some place to go? It's an interesting word, some place. Most of the time you would see it written as two words, some, place. But in American English, when written as one word, it means somewhere and it's commonly used in collocations like someplace else, someplace safe, someplace private. We'll go over the wall. We won't stop until we find someplace safe. How about this? I get you down, then we go together. Deal? We use this phrase when we make a suggestion. Notice the connected speech here. The first and the last letters in the word about are dropped and we link it all together. How about this? How about this? I get you down, then we go together. Deal? So you suggest something and you ask, deal? Meaning, do you agree? And the response may be the same word, deal. Just like Moana says here. First, we get my hook. Then save the world. Deal? Deal. <laughs> yeah, okay, fine. If you can magically get me down, I'll go with you to this... this Salmon run. Whatever. Most suggestions would have a conditional type of sentence. If you do this, I'll do that. In our clip, it was... If you can get me down, I'll go with you. That's the first type of conditionals, and it's super easy. Present simple in the if part, and future simple in the second part. If you click on the subscribe button, you will not miss our newest lesson. Salmon is a type of fish. Salmon run is an annual salmon migration against the stream up a river from the sea in order to spawn, lay eggs. But if you can't, you turn around, walk away, and never come back, ever. You swear? Yeah. Pinky swear. When you say, I'll never do it again, ever, you make your statement stronger. Sometimes the two words can go together, like in this example. But that would be irresponsible and unethical. 
I would never, ever make more than one. Pinky swear or pinky promise is the strongest kind of promise you can make in the world of children. Pinky is the smallest finger. All kids believe in the power of the pinky promise. Pinky promise. <sighs> oh, yes. My pinky promises. <gasps> yeah, sure, fine. Pinky swear. But this is a human trap. And you're just a dumb little bear. So there's really no way you're going to be able to... Dumb means stupid. It's common to use it in this sentence. It's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. That is literally the dumbest thing I've ever heard. Please. If you say, there's no way that something will happen, you're emphasizing that, in your opinion, it may never happen, or it's simply impossible. You'll see! I can do it! There's no way I can do this. That's it for today, and I'm sure many of you would want to watch the full movie after this lesson, and I highly recommend you do so. And now it's time for the test. Ooh, that's quite a bump you've got there. That must have been one heck of a ride down those rapids, huh? Tanana? Oh. How do we call a swelling on a body caused by hitting? Bruise, bleeding, bump. Bleeding is losing blood from a wound. A bruise is a blue or purple mark on the skin. So actually, you can have all three of them if the heat is too strong. But the correct answer for swelling is C, bump. Ooh, that's quite a bump you've got there. That must have been one heck of a ride down those rapids, huh? Tanana? <sighs> that was a hell of a ride. What's a lighter way to say that? That was a heck of a ride. Ooh, that's quite a bump you've got there. That must have been one heck of a ride down those rapids, huh? Tanana? <sighs> Name this part of a river you see on this image. Rapids. What? You need to get down. Let me help. Oh, wait, 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 wait. wait. Uh, ow! Hold still. No, just uh, ow, stop that. Uh, oh, if you just. Uh, ow, get, get, uh, hey, stop it! Uh, it's no use. The only way to get down is to chew your own foot off. Find three synonyms for the phrase no use used in the sentence it's no use trying to convince her. You know, when I was little, I was really into climbing trees. All kinds of trees. I climbed pine trees, oak trees, cedar trees, maple trees, uh, birch trees, willow trees, trees. Choose the correct word in the following sentences. How about this? I get you down, then we go together. Deal? Yeah, okay, fine. If you can magically get me down, I'll go with you to this... this Salmon run. Whatever. But if you can't, you turn around, walk away, and never come back. Ever. You swear? Yeah. Pinky swear. Yeah, sure, fine. Pinky swear. But this is a human trap, and you're just a dumb little bear. So there's really no way you're going to be able to... <gasps> In the phrase pinky swear, pinky means color pink, mild swear, smallest finger. Now, if you like to learn with Disney movies, go and watch this lesson based on another Disney classic that has the same vibe and shows connection and love of nature. However, Pocahontas' freedom is about to be put in check due to a decision her father made. 
Is that my Pocahontas? Grandmother Willow, I need to talk to you. Good morning, child. I was hoping you'd visit today. Oh, wow. Your mother's necklace. That's what I wanted to talk to you about.